Hello everybody and welcome along to the season finale of William's career. It's supposed to be the William's 2022 champion career mode. We were trying to become world champion in 2022 Williams. That unfortunately was an impossible task it turns out on this game. We managed it on heart in a Haas car uh, on last year's game. But this game, no, no, no not possible, not possible possible Abu Dhabi today we are within just a few points I'll show you the standings in a moment just a few points of McLaren in fourth in the constructors and Albon in third in the drivers that is our new targets the championship is off the table but it's important to finish this season well so we can go into next season strong and hopefully take home the championship in season two that's the plan but as you can see we've been able to win a number of races we had a, a really good start to the season then it really tailed off and we weren't able to get the big results for a long time until after the halfway point and then we've been super consistent we've had more podiums than than anything else it's been you know mostly podiums quite a few wins as you can see five wins now this season four fastest five fastest laps it's been a good season but uh, it's unfortunately not been a championship winning season. As I said, we are aiming for... Did I say Albon? I think I said Albon. It's, it's Perez third in the uh, in the Drivers' Championship. That's our aim. He is a little way away, so we are going to need a huge, huge race today. Yeah, 16 points for Perez. So realistically, we're going to need a DNF for Perez, but that's not impossible. Constructors, though, that's the more important one, to be honest. McLaren there in fourth in the Constructors. We're just three points behind McLaren, but they have got a very, very good car. I mean, in theory, on paper... We've got the best car in F1. McLaren have actually, on paper, only got the fifth car, fifth best car in F1. But if you look at the, the previous results, uh, where is he? Norris has managed to win a couple of races. He was utterly dominant. The McLaren always performs better than it looks on paper in this game. Okay, last race was a bit of a shock of him, down in 15th. But, you know, this could be a track that suits their car. They could end up winning this race. It's not impossible. I have to beat McLaren. My teammate has been scoring a couple of points, but not a massive amount. In the last episode, I just remember now, the, the air apartment went up to spec two. So that we have now just unlocked a load of air upgrades that we didn't have before. So chassis, we, we've done everything. There's nothing more to do on chassis. The chassis is as good as it's getting. The engine is also as good as it's getting. And as you can see, there was a regulation change for engine, which we've already saved all of the upgrades for that. There's also regulation change for durability. We have got a few of those upgrades, but you know, we need performance. That is the most important thing. We are the fastest car in F1, but only just. So yeah, I mean, what I want to do really is start spending my money here. What's the first race? We're going to do a custom calendar next season. I don't know what the first race will be, but uh, I do love drag reduction. Drag reduction is always very, very useful. So is front downforce. Can we afford both? I think we can actually. I think we can. I'm not going to, I'm not going to rush them because it, it'll come on after the season anyway. So it'll be just been time for next season. So we'll get both of those on, I think. Still got 1,000 resource points. Can't quite afford that. I probably will end up saving these, but not just yet. Not just yet. Oh, I may as well save that one. Then we've got literally one more to save, which will be this one once it's once it's on. And then we can just concentrate entirely on those, on those error upgrades. How's the weather? I assume it's perfectly dry for Abu Dhabi. It is indeed. Oh, Red Bull have overtaken us. Red Bull have snuck past us by the tiniest, tiniest of margins. Absolutely brutal. Anyway, let's try and get a banker in here. Go for 103 AI, which is possibly on the higher side. Not bad. Can I go over that line? I don't know still. Never do, just to be safe. Nice solid bank of that. Nothing too spectacular, but a nice solid lap. Let's be P2. Half a second off pole though. What? Uh, the car feels okay. I don't think there's any much, anything much I want to do. Half a second off pole right now. I need to find a chunk of time to get on terms with them, but it's not impossible. Anyway, right, come on there, guys. Lap two. P down to P9. Now we're still about half a second off pole. We can do a final chunk of time on this lap. No, idiots. Okay, we're going to save the tyres. We're going we're gonna to back off and save the tyres. I was trying to straight line it to get a better exit because I need to find quite a decent chunk of time. Come on, I need to improve this lap. A bit more caution on the exit. A bit wide. Ah! Oh, yeah, the wheels are a bit hot. Ah! Oh, God's sake. Except these sports drivers are over that curb, but I've never been comfortable doing that. I still might find a bit of time. Not bad. Not bad. Find two tents there. 
Despite the start of that lap, that's not bad. We'll push on the in lap. Look at that. Top five covered by less than four hundredths of a second. Ridiculous. Six thousandths between the top three. So we're only three and a half tenths off, but down in P8, it's a bit brutal. But as you can see, we basically need to get pole in order to achieve this top three prediction that we're running. Come on, let's do it. A little bit wide, a bit cautious on throttle because of it. Almost a tenth up still. We could still do this. 22 fours pole right now. That is about four tenths. We need a big final sector. We need to find multiple tenths. It's still mad close. The staff has just gone a little bit ahead. Let's try to get the power, I just couldn't. Oh, I didn't think that this. Oh, I'm actually going to reset. I didn't think that disallowed. I tested it on the last lap, but it didn't disallow me then. It did that time, so now I know. I'll almost have one little flashback. I'm going to bottle my lap anyway. It's going to absolutely bottle my lap. Has it not got away with it last time? Not that time. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. We had that time in us, although actually in the end we were six tenths from pole. I don't know if we had six tenths in us. I thought that car was good there. I just felt like I never really got a lap together. Beat my teammate, but that's not saying much. Six tenths off pole in the end. Well, to be fair, half a tenth would have given us P8. And after that, we needed another four tenths. Very good. But yeah, I, I'm going to load that AI by one click, guys, just because we're so close and we're so far off there. Right, come on then, guys. I, I might have a penalty. Remember, I accidentally took a new energy store, but then also gave it back. So I'm hoping because I gave it back, they're not going to give, give me a penalty. But we'll see. Wait, wait, 104. Did I go, did I go up on the AI? Did I see if she's going up on the AI? Oh, as if I've done that. How have I got up? What am I going to go down? Okay. This is going to be an interesting challenge. As if I've just done that. I'm P3, though. What a wild 10 seconds that was. I've accidentally gone up on the AI when I wanted to go down on the AI, but I've gained loads from penalties and I'm up to P3. Huge. Oh, there is a McLaren directly behind me, though. My teammate also looks like he's gained a little bit. He's up to P9. Where's the other McLaren? The other McLaren's nowhere to be seen. They're in 16th place. Mm, okay, so I need to beat Ricardo, despite the very high AI. <laughs> and if I, beat, if I beat Ricardo, as long as Norris doesn't do an absolute madness, end up like fifth or something, I should I, that should give us, give us four for the constructors. Where's Perez? Perez is also in the bin. Oh, he's only eighth. He's not too bad. Strategy. So most people on medium as well. There was a couple on soft, but nowhere near us. So I feel like probably best to... One Ferrari, one Haas on soft. So I feel like it's probably best just to copy the AI, do you reckon? Is it possible to go all the way to a one-stop? Mm, that's a long way short. I don't think that's the right strat. I think it is medium-hard. But as I'm starting so high up, I don't want to start on the hard. I want to start on the medium, I think. Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. That'll do. Point three. Pretty good. Right, come on there, guys. P3 on the grid, way higher than I deserved from Quali, but we take it. We've accidentally gone higher on the AI, not lower, as we intended. We need a good start here. Please, come on. We've got to beat McLaren. Carlo have an absolute flyer of a start. He's got the inside. Should have followed Alonso 3, really, but I just wanted to be a little bit cautious. Was close. You thought about coming over on me. I want to get to the inside, really. Can I do it? Yes, I can. Perez got no. Aye, aye. Perez came with me. I had to give Perez room. Verstappen, sorry. I had to give Verstappen room, which was not helpful. Right. Hopefully, I'll be pretty quick in a straight now with my slightly lower wings than they are. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Look at this. He's going to defend heavily to the inside, so we'll go to the outside. I hope for the best. Hope we don't get dive bombed. Oh, hello, Verstappen. Bounce across the curb there and get up to P2. Nice. Good start that in the end. Bit of a messy one, but we get through it. We get through it. All right, let's get settled into space now, guys. This is enough. It finishes as it is. We'll comfortably beat McLaren and the constructors. Which was just flying away from us. I don't actually recall the gap at the start of the lap, but it's definitely gone up. So what was it last lap? About seven tenths difference between me and Russell. It's not crazy. Better mind it was six in quali. Oh, he's closing in on me, but not close enough to attack me. I just get settled in this race. I always, I always build up to my pace in the race. I never go out and instantly go quick because of you know, lack of practice. I just slowly get there. Yeah, see, look, we can able, we're can we able to pull away on the first half of the straight. He pulls it back on the second half of DRS, but it's not too bad. He's nowhere near us, really. All right, I'm going to try and stop using ERS for the rest of the lap, I think. 
Let's make sure we've got plenty down those straights because it only takes one little mistake. If Max is all over us, he will just get us. Quite happy with the setup, quite happy with the car right now. Last lap, I actually managed to go 100th quicker than George Russell. Yeah, I think I did use lots of VRS to do so. Come on. Doing, doing good for now. Please don't die on the engine. Please don't die on me. Last lap, I was about, well, about a tenth quicker than George Russell. Starting to close him back down again. Okay. Well, let's make hay while the sun shines here, guys. Going higher on the AI. This is not what I expected. Point two. George Russell's a point five. Almost flat through there now. Almost flat. Taking the tiniest of lifts. I think he's just going to DRS. See if I break late. Maybe he won't. Didn't break crazy. Oh, I got to exactly a second. I've gone deep. I literally was looking at the gap in the braking zone. That's not wise. Does he get DRS? Yes, he does. Got exactly a second away, but apparently it wasn't enough. He does get DRS. Come on. Just try to up the push level a little bit. I'd love to round out the season with a win. What a way to finish that would be. Stappen no longer getting DRS. Last lap was about three tenths quicker than George Russell again. Yeah, no DRS for Verstappen this lap. I have burnt quite a lot of DRS to make that happen, but that's okay. We should not be able to peel away from him. So scared through there. I can, I can, maybe I should short shift. I can use so much more throttle. The car's got the grip, but if, it, if I wheel spin there, I'm just going to have a massive spin. I'd love to be able to get up to him this stint. I'm having to wait till the next stint. So I'm just trying to find a little bit more time. That's a bit deep. Stappen's still coming with us as well. I'm not going to be able to get him away. Not so good lap for me, that one. Still two tenths quicker than uh, Russell, though. All right, use the box next lap. How's everything getting on? There's quite a lot of tyre wear. Probably as wise the box when he says. Oh, I don't want traffic. Could try the undercut. I find the undercut doesn't tend to work on the AI. The AI do just gain on you in the pit stops, no matter what you do, I find. Stappen actually gaining on us now, though. He seems to have better tyre wear than me, I reckon. But I reckon George Russell's got worse tyre wear than me. Last lap was in again, about three tenths quicker than Russell. Okay, but Stappen back with me again, then. That's... Worrying, especially as I seem to be very low on ERS now. Now, do I risk an early box? Normally, I like to box a bit late in the AI just to avoid the possibility of getting traffic. But let's have a look. The game specs will come out in P10. P10 is Ocon and Schumacher. Okay, there is a little gap there in P10. But not much of one. Maybe I'll copy George Russell. Then if Verstappen could undercut us. Uh, I'll copy George Russell. I'll tell him I'll box, but I might not. No, I'm going to copy Russell. Does Max come in though? No, okay, nobody's in. That's fine. I, didn't, I, uh, I don't know. I just don't want traffic. Same as Russell, you'll catch him later. Okay, some people did come in that lap, which means, in particular, Hamilton came in, which probably means Russell box next lap. Uh, no, no, I'm going to come in this lap. I'm just going to decide. I'm coming in this lap. I'm pretty sure Russell will as well anyway. Lock up, not too bad. A little bit. Oh, the AI was so good in the pit lane. The brake's so late. Now, to be fair, maybe you get held up a little bit by Verstappen coming in. I think he has. Oh, he's been held again by the, by the Alpine. Russell's been really held up. That's a shame. He did still get held up. That is a shame. There's no traffic. George Russell hopefully will get a little bit of traffic though. George Russell side by side. I could do with George Russell not getting DRS. Ocon getting the DRS. Oh, Ocon! Now, Verstappen might be able to sneak in DRS range here of Russell, which would be huge as long as we're also in DRS range of Verstappen. This, these tyres feel pretty good as well. Oh, I first time in a while in DRS range, you can tell. Do you still get DRS? <clears throat> okay. We're now in a DRS train of the leaders. Leader. We have overall gain in that pit stop phase, but we have lost the position. But no one DRS, though. Verstappen might nail Russell straight away. Rebel is wrapping a straight line, and that Mercedes is not. The DRS again. Was, is Verstappen going to nail Russell? That's the question. And he's not that close, to be fair. He's about seven or eight tenths back or so, so it's not that close. Right, come on, come on, come on. Verstappen's made a few mistakes here. It's landing a bit closer than otherwise would have been. Loris, see the fast up the race. Both McLaren's are in the points, actually. Oh my god, there's so many bits coming in. I appreciate the bits. Got to send it. Oh, come on, Max. Dude, what are you doing? Ah, he's done it again. I'm going to get the arrest now. Ah, stupid AI, man. You just can't battle them. Get in the bin. Get in the bin. You shouldn't get anywhere near me. Get in the bin. I'm going to ERS, but we need to get back in the arrest range of Russell. We've got such little ERS now. I want to get in back in the arrest range, ideally, before I stop using the ERS. Do it here? Probably not. It's pretty much flat for here. 
Tight lift, that's okay. I should be able to get the MS, maybe. It's gonna be close, gotta break today. Um. What? 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 Right as we get in DRS range, there's a massive spin that gives us the lead. What? I, I wanted to be able to save ERS behind him, but I can't do that anymore. But I guess I'll take the free overtake. Now, luckily, Ricardo didn't get past, but both McLarens are in the points. So my teammate is... Oh, he's battling down in ninth, but battling hard, unfortunately. I think this win will be enough. As long as they're uh, fifth and below, which they are at the moment. Uh, uh, that was silly. Distracted, waffling. He's going to get the rest of me now. I want to end this season on a high. Despite the lows of the trolling. And we're surviving for now. <sighs> right, what's going on here? Now, McLaren are in that fight behind. But only for fifth. They have got maximum P5 right now. I think even if they get fifth and sixth, I should be okay. 18, 15, 12, 10, and 8 they'd get for that, I think. So I will be okay. If they finish only 5th and 6th, which is looking like they will, I'll be fine. Although Russ and Alonso are now battling. You never know what's going to happen when they battle. So if they get up to 3rd and 4th, I'm two, three, four, five, not fine. Right, I'm, I'm not even trying to get a snap out of the MS range. I probably could. I feel like I've got the raw pace to do it. But with all what's going on, I'll be distracted at the crucial moment and it will just cost me tyres, cost me ERS. I'm just trying to re recharge ERS to be able to defend from the last lap when they save it up. Oh god, this happens close to us. We're so quick in a straight, we should be okay. Now we're up to the lead. Should be okay, but I'm trying to recharge ERS. I'm out of a stuff I didn't get that close, but the distractions are they're not helped. Well, they're, they're kind of helping now. A bit of radio on the background. Tunes. Okay, let's, let's join in, shall we? Uh... It's not, but it's the best song I've got on my on my on my Steam Deck. Oh, that's a bit deep. All right, okay, we do need to start concentrating because our tires are going off a bit more than Verstappen's, and he is actually alarmingly close to us right now. And it's just a bit of ERS. We've been recharging it quite a bit. Two more laps to go. He will be recharging his ERS like I have been, thankfully, and he'll be starting to deploy it, particularly on the final lap. AI always save ERS to so deploy fully on the final lap to go for the fastest lap. So that's what we need to be wary of. I'm not going to try for fastest lap because it doesn't matter. All we need is the dub. We won't get third in the constructors, guys, unfortunately. You're right, Max? I don't think. We need 16 points. Uh, 12, 10. Oh, we might! 18, 15, 12. No. No, we won't. We won't. I think we'll be one point away from getting second in the constructors. In the drivers, sorry. But we'll get fourth in the constructors, which is the important one. If Perez ends up sixth and I win... I do get third of the constructor, so literally one more position drop. I'll be able to get it. They're battling behind, though. Right, come on, guys. Final lap of the race. We need to ignore the distractions for one more lap. Thank you for all the bits, guys. I do appreciate the financial support. I don't appreciate the putting off, but it's made it fun for all of us. There's been lots of screaming. It's one more lap, though, guys. Oh, kids. One more lap. It's fine, guys. All we need to do is get to the end without mistakes. We've got through the DRS zones. Oh my god. It's not going to be enough to get us P3 in the Drivers' Championship, but it will be enough to get us P4 in the Constructors, which is the more important one. Oh my god. This is it. Keep it calm. Just through all the waffle. He waffles more than me, the Texas speech guy. Oh my god. This is the longest one ever. Right. There we go. We've done it. We've done it. Despite that, all of that, we've done it. We won the race. <laughs> oh my god. You guys are insane. We won the race. It wasn't for a championship, unfortunately, but it was for four for the constructors, which is important. I believe we just missed out, unfortunately, on uh, <laughs> on, uh, on third of the drivers. Anyway, let's have a look at the standings, shall we? And there you go. Confirmation. I am indeed just one point back. One point. I'm getting third in the drivers. There was no real chance of second, let alone first. In fact, 133 points was the final gap between us and Max Verstappen. That was never on. That car has been too dominant this season. He would have won that race if it wasn't for us as well. Constructors, we do indeed get fourth by about 11 points over McLaren. Very comfortable in the end. They didn't have a good race today. And I uh, somehow managed to throw away to a win. Helped a bit with uh, Russell spinning, but I was in his DRS range when he did that anyway. And that's the big one, because we are going to do a season two, guys. We are going to do a season two. Hopefully with a little bit less screaming. <laughs>
Season 2 is going to be starting very soon. I might even do it from tomorrow. So, as I said, we are doing another season. I might start it tomorrow. I need to figure out what I'm doing tomorrow. Um, we're going to do a custom calendar. We'll do 16 race custom calendar. We're going to try and win the championship. That is the only goal next season. It was supposed to be the goal this season. It didn't work out. It's going to be all about winning the championship next season. We have got a few upgrades due, as you can see. But what's going to hold us back is the facilities. We are going to run out of upgrades very early on. We have luckily just gone to Spectre on the Aero. So we'll have a couple more Aero upgrades coming on, which will help us. But there'll be no more chassis until they upgrade the facilities. There'll be no more powertrain until they upgrade the facilities. And we'll be able to do a few durabilities. It's all about the championship next season. All in for it. But the upgrades are going to hold us back. We've got the best car more or less right now. We'll probably start the season with the best car. I can pretty much guarantee you we won't end the season with the best car. We're running out of upgrades Next season can be completely different to this season. We're going to have to start out good and then try and cling on to hopefully any lead that we get through the rest of the season through the inability to upgrade because of the poor facilities of Williams. 